Hi, welcome back to the world according to the Nasman. And today we talk about positive psychology. So what is positive psychology? Positive psychology really is about the study of happiness, the things that nurture happiness, the skills that bring about happiness, and how to create more happiness in your life, as well as strength psychology, another face of positive psychology, which is nurturing the natural strengths you have, as opposed to more traditional understandings of psychology, which um, focus in on psychopathology, how you have your problems, positive psychology is a focus on how you can build a better, more positive life. Now, of course, it all boils down back to the three components of, of um, all understandings in psychology, thoughts, emotions, and actions or behavior. And the study of happiness has given us the idea that we have values, shared values, cross-cultural values, international values. There are six of them, and they break down into about 37 or 42 um, different qualities and skill sets that build up these big categorizations of values that are widely accepted to be positive and great and wonderful. And happiness, happiness is a process. Happiness is a process of doing. It's not an outcome. It's more in the steps of what you're doing. And it has a specific formula, part of which includes absorbed attention. And in my work, there's a lot of absorbed attention, whether it's hypnosis or NLP or change work. However, in happiness, what you want to do or in positive psychology is really zone in on the good stuff, that juicy stuff, building positive, great resources to act from. So for example, um, if you have um, an immobility of sorts, maybe because of old age, a great way to use hypnosis or psychotherapy or the imagination is just to guide your client to remember, to remember a great time for older ladies, usually it's a time when they were dancing. And in fact, just put them in their mind back to that time where they were vivacious and dancing and having an amazing time. And what you'll find is just by exploring that little memory, going into it a little bit, the person would feel more relaxed, a bit better, more positive and happier. Now, in the work of personal and professional development and in clinical work, what we usually want are specific behavioral outcomes. Now, people will say they want to be happier. Technically, that's not a goal, that's not an outcome, but it is achievable. And it's achievable through beginning to build the emotions, the behaviors, and the thought patterns that create happiness, that create more positivity. So one very good example is the difference between an optimist and a pessimist. See, a pessimist has a view on life that brings upon more negativity. All oh, negative stuff will happen and they remember all the negative things that happens, which allows them to expect and build an expectation of more negative outcomes. On the other hand, from a positive psychology perspective, what you would, the resources that you're looking for are not the negative outcome resources, not the memories in which things were messed up. However, on the other hand, you're looking at the um, things that you did that worked out that were really positive and they worked and from this place from these resources you can begin to build an expectancy for more positive outcomes and um, the idea is you find what you're looking for so if you choose to focus on the negative you're more likely to end up with negative results and if you choose to focus on the positive you're more likely to end up with positive results now I know that's not true. Negative results are important to keep in mind. They're important to plan for and stay away from. However, most people when delving in negativity do tend to delve. In fact, they go above and beyond the call of duty, thereby focusing in on that negativity, focusing in on what they don't want, thereby creating it, making it more, li more likely to happen. So positive psychology is about the nurturing of strengths, the nurturing of positive qualities, emotions, behaviors, and values to increase general happiness in life. And of course, as everything I do every day in every way, better and better.